happy end of the week. It is finally Friday over here and I have been waiting for this day for, you know, the whole week. We're going thrift shopping today and I have a project that I've been wanting to work on but I wanted to get through the holidays and now we're finally here. Over here in our living room, this corner is pretty blank and open and I would like to find some kind of picture frames or collage work to put up here in this corner. Last thing that I need to do before I eat lunch and then get out the door is finish packing up my consignment store basket. So this just has like a bunch of clothes I've gotten rid of, my mom's gotten rid of. A couple weeks ago, I brought a bunch of clothes, like a whole basket full of clothes to our local high school. They have a clothing closet there. So I was able to donate a bunch of really nice things. This stuff right here is just kind of not the style of a high school student. It's more like shirts from my mom that she wore to work. And then I have my Target returns that I need to make. I'm returning that awful blanket that I got. And then I have these joggers that I just bought, but my mother-in-law and I went thrift shopping and I got a pair identical to it for $4. And so these, I'd rather get my money back because these are 20. Today for lunch, I'm gonna have leftover buffalo wild wings and then I'm gonna have cherry tomatoes with that. It is seriously the best when you have leftovers and you don't have to make yourself lunch the next day. What's the temperature? Right now, it's one degree Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of six degrees. Burr. I was just ready to walk out of the door when the doctor's office, I have an appointment today and they called me and said the provider I'm supposed to see had conflicts with the schedule. So they put me with someone else 30 minutes later. So I decided to run back in here real quick and throw some leave-in treatment on my ends of my hair. Our air is so dry and I didn't want to have to be dealing with static all day long. This is the Function of Beauty one. I use it in my hair wet or dry, but also I have their shampoo and their conditioner. These I have actually been using since last Christmas. My parents got them for me and I've been using it ever since. I was in this big kick last year of switching over products in my house to better fit more of like a plant-based lifestyle. And this fit the categories of what I was looking for. And so I wanted to give it a try. You go on to their website and you make a profile. And from there, you put in your hair goals and type of hair that you have. So like my hair is wavy and then it has a normal amount of oil. And then from there, you pick goals that you want to work on personally for your hair type and things that like bother you. So I wanted to work on shine. I picked rejuvenate, nourish roots, strengthen, and anti-frizz because frizz is something that I deal with in my hair. And my hair has forever been changed. It is so much stronger. And then on top of it, you can pick things like a fragrance, the color. I change my color every single month just to change it up, but I do always pick fragrance free. It's just a personal choice in my hair care products. Then it's also dermatologist tested so it doesn't bother my hair at all because a certain hair care formulas make my head really itchy. If you are interested, I do have a link down in my description that can get you 20% off of your own customized hair set. And then on top of that, if you sign up for their subscription, you can get free shipping. I made it to the doctors. I have my yearly OBGYN appointment, so that's always a fun time. On the way here, I had a realization that I left my camera at home. Purposely had it laid out, and then I decided to change my shoes and left it on the counter. The day that you got done watching just now was a day of unfortunate events. First, I forgot my camera, then my phone died. I literally got one clip in the thrift store. I am gonna show you what I got. I did not find anything for the area of the living room that I was hoping to find things for, but we found a few other things and I don't wanna leave you in suspense of wondering what I got and just skipping on to the next thing. The first thing that I got is this mixing bowl and it has this silicone lid. And I am hoping to be able to make my bread in this. I found this marble cutting board and I mean, it is heavy. So there's just marble here on top and wood on the bottom. And this, I don't think I'm gonna use as a cutting board, but I thought it would look really pretty on like a dresser or some area and I could put my like glass essential oil perfumes on it. And then the last three things that I got are actually not things for me. I will be helping with a couple remodel projects and so I've been watching for pieces for other people's houses. First, I got these coasters that actually match 
that cutting board that I have, just the marble with the wood. And then I got this rattan Kleenex box holder. This I would actually keep here at my house, but I just don't ever buy this size of Kleenex box. And so this will look really pretty in somebody else's space to help like lighten it up. The last thing I got was this tray. It's just this quality wooden tray that my plan for it is to put on top of a dresser and then put like someone's jewelry or something on it. I just thought this was really pretty and it was a real quality piece for $3. We're gonna be moving on to the next part of this video and there are a few clips where my mic got loose and I did not realize it. So you'll kind of hear a rattling noise, but I just wanted to put this disclaimer that there's just a few clips like that. I will get the problem fixed for the next video. Happy Saturday, everyone. You are going to be spending the weekend with me. We got Jay over here. Here, eating wings. Tell us, how's your Saturday going so far? Good. I got tickets for my wife and I to go to a basketball game. Ooh, you guys, it is so stinking cold. The last couple days in Iowa have been negative temperatures and it has been freezing. Our house is cold all the time. Even when we've turned the heat up, we've had the blind shut and all the things, but like there's air blowing through every crack and crevice possible. It's so Cold. We're gonna drive over to my brother's house, help out. I know my mom and my dad are there, so that should be a good time. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, Sam. We are over at the green bin setup, and Mom and I are gonna be painting today. This has been painted before, but One coat. it needs a second coat. I had asked my dad if he cares if I remodel like in here for them and do their decorating, obviously with a sense of style of a boy. But anyway, he said I could. So today we're starting with the paint, and then throughout the weeks to come, we'll be doing some other fun stuff. Look who decided to join us. Hey, it's me, but now I gotta go find a paint stick because Mama Cornstar's got these paint sticks like that long. Looks done. This is a little nervous Nelly because he hasn't painted. I haven't painted in a long time. A long time. You're never just nervously paint at home. Yeah, but that's not the uh -huh. same. It just doesn't matter quite the same. No, this is more delicate. Is there gonna be a fight going down? Between mom and dad? Don't worry, there probably right. won't be because mom and dad don't hardly ever, ever even raise their voice at each other. So I don't think there's nothing to worry about. Don't fall. That looks pretty good. First mistake has been made, and it was not made by me, but my dad. Tell us what you did. I was painting in here, and mom sneezed really bad, and it made me jump, and I touched the brush up there. Actually, what was happening, I was brushing, rolling paint. I had an itch on my head really quick, and I went to raise my hand fast, what made this arm go up fast, and boom. So we're doing painting today, and then eventually there'll be a little break here before I can come in and help decorate, but this has to be done first. What? She's making fun of me, honey. Mom got more paint in her hair than on the walls. It looks like a rat's nest. Holy cow, what happened there? Goodness, I had my hat on. <laughs> Is there any... Does this look better? To me, it looks like a horse came up to her. It's been fun, but has it been real fun? It's been super fun, but thank you, thank you, Summer, for coming over and helping Mom and Dad. You're welcome. I got there at like 120 and it is just five o'clock now. So anyway, I was in charge of painting all the lower areas. Mom was doing all like the trim work and the cutting on the ceiling and then dad is doing everything tall. I'm hoping to convince Jay that we should go get Mexican food tonight, but we will see what he says. I'm gonna head home. I am starving. Petting the cat for a minute and then we are gonna go do a little impromptu Mexican getting of food. Neva's gonna go with me and she's gonna pick up food as well and then I'll bring her back home. But first we must pet the little baby. Oh, you're a good girl. It is yes. the best having family that lives close because at any point I can just be like, someone wanna go get food with me? And they usually say yes. No, they usually say, Mama knows. <laughs> but all of our food is over 30 minutes away, like one way, so. It's just kind of a, a haul by yourself. I'm home with the goods. I got rice, beans, a salad, 
I always get seafood fajitas, so there's shrimp, crab, and fresh pineapple in this, and then vegetables. And then today I got a steak and cheese quesadilla. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday. Sundays are pretty early days around here. Our church starts at 8 a.m., so Jay wakes me up at 7. I get up, and well, I don't get up right away. I usually lay there for a little bit. So it's 7.30 now. He's in the shower. So I better get ready, and then I'll see you in a second. It's warmer today because the wind is out of a different direction, kitty. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Oh. We're out the door on our way to church, 7.52. Jay preaches on Sunday at this church, and we're pretty much always the last people there. But morning starting off on a good note because I have pizza for breakfast, even though it's a little burnt. <laughs> church we go. I've tried to make it a rule not to do work on Sundays but today we are editing a video that I need to actually get out today. I filmed it yesterday. It's coming out today and then from there hopefully we get to do some things that I actually look forward to doing that don't involve any sort of work. So I'm over here on the couch working and then Jay is over there playing a game on his iPad right now and I think later has to study for his CDL test. Get to work, get this done, because the quicker I get this done, the quicker I get to enjoy my day. <sighs> I got my video done, sitting here uploading right now, so that will actually be out by the time you see this video. It is a Q&A addressing a bunch of questions that people have over and over again. You'll have to check that out. But I just finished cleaning the kitchen, and we are actually having pork ribs tonight for supper. This is a pig that we butchered earlier this year. Usually I just dump barbecue sauce on them, but we do not have any. So Jay had a smart idea that we should do the same kind of topping that we do on our meatloaf. I actually don't know how to do that because he is the one that makes meatloaf, but he is studying for a test and so I'm just gonna go ahead and come up with something and hope that it turns out. One of my goals this year is to make more meals here at home that are from scratch. I mean, I've eaten out like the last two days, but in general, we've been doing a really good job about trying to use the meat in our freezer, as well as just coming up with new recipes and trying to make things from scratch. Like, I made cream of chicken soup the other day, and usually I would just buy it in a can, but it's actually really easy and super good. And then I know all the ingredients that are in it, and there's like a bunch of like fillers. I have ketchup that I'm going to use. I'm just gonna squirt some of this in here. And then I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce. I think that's how you say it. Worcestershire? Worcestershire? Except I can't open it. Uh, hold on a second. Thank goodness for husbands. So, got that open. I'm just going to dump some in there. And then I am going to add in all this chopped up onion that we have because that will be really good with it. And then I have some minced garlic that I'm gonna throw in there as well. This actually looks super disgusting, but I know it's gonna taste good because it smells good. I just dump this on top of the pork. I could marinate it, but it is a 3.30, and if I want to eat this for supper, there's no time to marinate it. Okay, before I show you this, this is not my most proud creation that I've ever made food-wise, but it will taste fine, it just looks not fine. Well, there we have it. It looks like a literal joke, but it is going to be good. So I'm gonna put this on high for an hour and a half and then check it and then probably we'll move it to low because this thing cooks in like three hours. So it might help if I plug it in. It's been a good weekend. Today was spent editing mostly the whole day. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but we thought we would end this video with a little get to know us. I did this a couple videos back Jay is gonna share something that you might not know about me, and I'm gonna share something that you might not know about him. So, would you like to go first? I'll go first. So, in elementary, at summer school, they used to have a thing called track and field day. Back in the elementary days, Summer was the fastest kid in her class, like boys and girls. She would beat them all. It was pretty fast. Then I realized I didn't love running, and I gave it up, and so she's I'm not prob fast. she's probably never ran as fast as you can, probably since junior high. Yeah, everybody in the class would meet me now. <laughs> <laughs> and then something you might not know about Jay is 
In order to save money for our family, he rips all of his Kleenexes in half because it saves us money. And it drives me nuts because it gets lint all over or like dust or whatever. But That's why we have an air doctor. But anyway, it's okay because <laughs> I love him. It's not really to save money. It's just to not waste. You know, sometimes you need to blow your nose, but you just don't need the full tissue. That's why you save it in your pocket. No, that's gross. Let us know, guys, what you do. Do you blow your nose in the Kleenex, not use much of it, throw it away? Do you save it in your pocket? Do you rip them in half? I guarantee nobody rips them in half. We're going to enjoy the rest of our evening, and I will see you guys in the next one.